Alright, what's up guys? I just got my hands on the new Archangel Bind and Fly 5 inch rig, uh, the DR1 DHL Champion Series Edition. Uh, so, we're going to do a quick run through of what's going to come in the kit. Uh, my initial reactions with the unboxing, and then we're going to go out and throw some batteries through this guy and uh, see how she flies. So, um, just on their website, it's archangelfpv.com. Just taking a look at their products right now. They have the uh, Archangel Macro DR1 Limited Edition 5 inch. Um, this is their, their flagship model. This is kind of their pride and joy of their fleet right now. They also have some micros. They have the, uh, the Mini, which is a 3 inch, and they have the Micro 2 inch with the uh, prop guards. Uh, this is the smallest drone that they, they're offering right now. So, all three of these are brand new. They're all branded with the uh, DHL Champion Series uh, DR1 edition. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the specs on this guy. So we'll choose the um, Archangel Macro DR1 Limited Edition Bind and Fly 5 inch. So this runs $600. Comes ready to fly. Um, so th they, they send it with the Gemfan 5149, which is awesome. I love those props. Um, VAS Minion Antenna, spare hardware set in case you break anything, you need to do some repairs. Um, OSD control board and tool set. So the OSD control board is going to be for your, your camera. So that's cool. It's got some really bright LEDs. Taking a look at these pictures. Looks like the side lights up. The arms light up, which is awesome. It's got this really unique looking uh, canopy and it's cool. It's got the um, video band and channel on the side here, so it's really visible. Alright, so here it is. The DHL Champion Series Archangel 5 inch. Looks good. So one thing I really like, I noticed off the bat, it's got some nice warning. So if you're a new pilot, um, you know not to power on your VTX without the antenna. That's something that new pilots might not know. So that's really smart of them to put that warning on there. Just a little sticker you can peel off. And then also on the XT60, it says do not exceed 4S. So that's really good. All right, so that's the, uh, the drone. Looks like on the side, it's got a little push button to change your uh, VTX channel and band. It's nice, it's got a 3D printed, it's part of this canopy. Um, looks like it's about three mil carbon on the side plates, so it looks really durable. It's got this awesome DHL Champion Series sticker uh, presented by Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Uh, it's a DR1 edition, so it's got DR1 on this side. These all light up, this lights up, this lights up, I believe. We'll find out when we power it on. Um, so what else do we have in here? Got the, uh, the spare hardware kit, antenna, and a prop tool, and then also the Gemfan Flash 5149s. So we'll just put this aside for now because we're not going to need the propellers. So, first thing first, we'll uh, go ahead and put the antenna on before we power it on. So, it's got the VAS antenna there. So I'm just going to screw this on to the pigtail. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the motor. So it looks like we got 2306, 2400 kV, so a pretty beefy motor. Um, so you're going to want to run a, <clears throat> you know, an aggressive prop on there. 5149 should be good. I'm going to try the uh, Hulkies on here as well, the 5055s. Um, so I think first thing we should do is go ahead and get it bound up to our radio. A little hex tool that comes with it and I believe that's going to allow us to get inside of the canopy. So let's see. It's got a hinge on the front and on the back. So I think if we just take any of these out we should be able to get inside of there. And there we go. Okay cool. So it's got these little um, standoffs here and the uh, canopy has these little grooves in it that basically snap into place. So it looks like it's got a um, spectrum serial telemetry receiver which is good. Alright so we got the um, this little board here that's the kind of the power distribution board for the LEDs it looks like. So that powers the two side LEDs and then also the LED on the canopy and it looks like it also powers the LEDs on the arms. Yeah, so it's got one, two, three, four for all the arms, so that's cool. Very clean design. And then it's got the cob LEDs 
on the bottom of the arms and also on the top of the canopy. So we're going to plug this in and see if we get the bind uh, activated on the receiver. So the kit came with uh, Archangel FPV, 4S, 95C, Graphene, 1300 mAh battery. So that's what we're going to be running for this test. It's got their branding um, on the outside of the battery, which is really cool. So we're going to plug it in and see how I have the blinking light on the telemetry receiver. So now we're going to turn the radio on and go back into bind mode. There we go. Alright, so now we're bound up. So now we're going to unplug the vehicle and we're going to move that blue wire that we just took off and put it back to where it was. So that's from, it was just connected to the ground. Now we're just going to put it back onto the spectrum pad. Alright, so now the blue wire is back on the pad that it was on originally. So now we plug this in. Show the solid yellow light on the telemetry receiver. Okay, so now if we connect the beta flight, we should see the receiver tab working as expected. And there we go. Alright, so as you can see in the receiver tab, everything's working. We just need to adjust the trims. So we want that roll pitch and yaw to all be centered. So I'm going to go into model adjust and I'm going to go into actually I'm going to go into uh, model setup and I'm going to go into uh, alright so we're going to go into model adjust servo setup uh, then we're going to use sub trim and for Let's see, altitude looks good. So for roll, we're just gonna adjust adjust these sliders until we see that hit 1500. All right, and then for pitch, we're gonna do the same thing. And for y'all, we're going to do the same thing. So it's just off by a little bit. And then for throttle, we want to make sure that when we're at the top, it's at about 2,000. All right, that's good. And then also, uh, we're going to need to reverse a couple of the channels. So it looks like roll is reverse, so we're going to go into reverse. Gonna reverse roll. That's good. Pitch is good. I'm guessing yaw's reverse as well. Yeah. So yaw. And that's good. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is get our switches set up properly. So we're gonna go into the modes tab, and I'm gonna change my arm to aux one. So that's what my other quads are set up as. And then we'll set the flight modes to uh, aux 2. I'm not going to use the flight modes, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it in case you want to do flight modes. So that's on this switch here. And we'll put horizon mode on aux 2 as well. So what I'm going to fly in is rate mode, which is all the way down. All right, so let's unplug this. Let's unplug it from data flight and then we should be able to arm the vehicle. Alright, so let's check motor direction. In and out, that looks good. Alright. So that's good. So it beeps when the uh, when it loses connection to the receiver. That's good. All right. So now we can close this up, 
And then uh, last thing I'm going to do before we go on fly is I'm going to put this GoPro mount that came with the kit. So this GoPro mount's going to slide. So this is for a session and it looks like it's just going to go right outside here. Outside the canopy and then it comes with uh, four screws that are probably a little bit longer that are going to allow us to um, screw into the canopy. So we'll get that done and then we'll go out and do our first flights. Thank you.